Hey guys, Ramesh here. Welcome back to React Hooks Spring Boot Crude Full Stack Application Series. In this video, let's go ahead and let's build Update Employee REST API. So head over to Employee Controller again, and within Employee Controller, we're gonna write Update Employee REST API. So let me quickly write the comment over here: Build Update Employee REST API. Okay, great. Now quickly write the method public and uh, the response type we are going to choose here response entity well response entity is very useful class to construct the response object so go ahead and choose response entity response entity is a generic class we need to provide a type let's go ahead and let's provide a type as an employee and go ahead and give method name as update employee all right and we need to pass first argument as id and second argument as the type of the employee object update details let's say employee details okay so employee details uh, basically this object we are getting from the client so client call this rest api that is update employee rest api and it sent uh, updated employee information in the request right and that uh, information we are going to bind to this employee object all right great now what we're going to do is we're going to get the employee object from the database and we need to update the employee object and we need to again save that employee object to the database for that let's go ahead and let's first fetch employee object from the database so in order to do that let me declare our object here employee and let's say update employee and we're going to use employee repository to get a employee object from the database so employee repository provides a method that is find by id method find by id and find by id method takes id as a method argument and it returns optional class of type employee so go ahead and choose this method and we need to pass id all right let's say uh, employee object with given id is not existing in database then our rest api should throw a resource not found exception right for that we're going to use or else through method and this method internally takes supplier as a functional argument and we need to provide a lambda expression implementation for this supplier interface all right so go ahead and call this method and just throw the exception and uh, so we're going to provide lambda expression right so here's the syntax we're going to create an object of the resource not found exception and this method will simply throw this exception object so let me break this sentence and uh, let's give a custom error message something like employee not exist with id and just pass the id okay perfect now we retrieved employee object from the database okay and here in the method argument we have one more employee object right and this employee object contains all the updated information now we need to you know set all the information from this object to update employee object for that what we're going to do is we're going to simply call get setter methods to set first name last name and email here we're going to use employee update employee dot set post name let's get first name from the employee details object similarly last name okay update employee dot set last name and get last name from employee details similarly get email from employee details and set to update employee object employee details dot get employee get email id all right it means that user can update employee first name last name and email okay now update employee contains all the updated information now we want to send we want to save this employee object in database for that again we need to use employee repository and let's call it save method to save this object now once we save updated employee object to the database we're going to simply return the updated information to the client all right again we're going to use response entity dot ok method and then we're going to pass update employee object in a body that's it pretty simple isn't it so what we have done 
we have retrieved employee object from the database and we have set all the updated information to update employee object and we have saved that employee object to the database and we have simply returned the updated employee object to the client now we have created a method now let's make this method rest api by using annotation so let's go ahead and let's use at put mapping annotation so whenever you have you know requirement to update the resource then you have to use add put mapping annotation okay just try to understand the difference between post and put so post is used for creating a resource put is used for updating the resource well now we need to pass the method argument that is id so we can pass id as a path variable in a url and we need to bind the value of this id in the method argument for that we going to use add path variable annotation we have a second argument that is employee details well we have one more annotation that is request body annotation so this add request body annotation internally convert json into this employee details object all right so this completes our update employee rest api implementation now let's go ahead and let's start spring boot application and let us test this update employee rest api using postman rest client so let me go ahead and let me restart the server So our Spring Boot application is up and running. Now let's go ahead and let's test this REST API using Postman REST client. So let's head over to Postman REST client and create a new request to test this REST API. And make sure that you choose put HTTP method over here. And here just type HTTP colon localhost 8080 slash API slash v1 slash employees okay and we are going to update a uh, employee with id 1 so i'm going to pass one id in a url itself okay and go to body and in a body we need to pass the employee information okay and here i choose content type json and uh, in a body we just need to update employee first name last name and email okay so let me go to get request here and here i will just pass one to get a employee object with id one to just check employee first name last name and email so you can see here employee first name ramesh last name for the array, email id ramesh at the rate gmail.com okay so notice here the id one now we want to update this employee first name last name email id okay right now we have ramesh for the array, ramesh at the rate gmail.com so let's go ahead and let's use this put request to update this information so let me simply uh, update first name from Ramesh to Ram from Padatare to Jado and email id ram at the rate gmail.com okay so go ahead and hit send button and there we go the employee id with one is successfully updated okay what are the fields updated first name last name and email id okay and if you can make a get request to get an employee with id 1 you will get updated information for example let me hit a send button here and there we go first name last name email id is successfully updated for the employee 1 it means that our update employee rest api is working as expected okay great in next video we are going to consume get employee by id rest api and update employee rest api in react application all right guys i will see you in next video